All right, my beautiful friends. Uh, we really do have to talk, uh, and I'm not kidding. Pay attention to this. So as I am doing this video blog, uh, stocks are about flat. Although we did open into uh, the green, stocks are losing altitude here. However, take a look at J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup. The banks right now are gaining. Now, why would banks be benefiting in this environment? Well, it comes back to this. What we've been hearing about over the last several days from Fed presidents, Bullard, for example, uh, we understand that the banks are going to be supported uh, and bailed out on your back. So this is why bank stocks are higher right now. This is the environment, people. Get used to it. Banks are not going to fail. Uh, the people are going to be forced to fail, as usual, as the charade continues. Um, let's move on to a couple of other assets. Uh, bond market not doing too much right now. About flat. Dollars about flat. Silver is getting hit. Gold is getting hit. Cryptocurrencies are about flat. But really, the fact that bank stocks are higher pretty much across the board, uh, in this environment should tell you something uh, and the banks are gleeful and those that are investing in bank stocks are gleeful because they understand that the banks will be bailed out and supported by you via of course the Federal Reserve um, I mean you can't make this stuff up uh, they're admitting that the Federal Reserve is going to be expanding its balance sheet or inflating its balance sheet we got Morgan Stanley out yesterday, one of the bank stocks that's higher right now, explaining that the Federal Reserve will be increasing its balance sheet permanently. Uh, again, why? To bail out the banks. It's amazing how they can get away with this kind of stuff under the table. No one says anything. It just floats under the radar. But again, this is where we are at. But again, this makes our life easy. We know exactly what to do, how to take advantage of it. We're not going to be fleeced, period, the end. But it is disgusting, in my view, to witness what is going on, and people are just going right over their head. They don't understand what they're hearing. They don't understand what they're seeing. They don't understand what's going on right underneath their nose. Because again, the, the mission is complete. What is the mission? The dumbing down of the people. You know, the distractions. Look here. Look here. Don't look here. Pay attention to the impeachment thing, because that's the biggest thing. It's on all of the news channels. Okay. But don't look at what's going on with the banks that you are being forced to bail out. And you understand, this is a game. It's a political game uh, that is played at a, an extremely high level. Uh, keep the people distracted, force them to look over here. Well, we can do whatever we want over here. And that's exactly what's going on here. I mean, there's no other way to look at this other than it's a bailout for the banks. The fact that Fed President Bullard said these words, that the banks are demanding capital. Well, if the banks are demanding capital, that means what? That the Federal Reserve is going to have to recapitalize them. Why? Because without it, the entire system implodes. You know that. Um, this is, we've never seen anything like this before. This is an environment that is sincerely unique. Uh, and get used to it because it's going to get monumentally worse on your back. So again, like I said yesterday, start speaking out, tweeting, please share this video. Uh, maybe start your own video blog. Um, try to, you know, shake some people into reality. I don't think it's possible anymore, again, because people literally, and I'm not just saying this uh, because it sounds good or it's some kind of a catchphrase, but people are really dumbed down to the point where they cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. And the charade can just go on and on and on because people have no idea what they're looking at anymore. This is what's happened to the populace, especially here in the United States. It's a frightening, frightening prospect. All right, with that said, I got to get back to work. I have a couple of trades on right now. This guy loves you a lot. Please share this video. Please get involved. Please get this message out uh, right now. It's just so important.
Will it make a difference? I guess time will tell. See you at the end of the day.